Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have a quick do-it-yourself packaging idea that you can make in under five minutes and you can make this without using a scoreboard. Um, you don't even need to do any measuring. You can make this in any size you like for any uh, occasion. You could make these for your craft fair. Uh, where you can add your items inside your uh, packaging and I'm going to show you how you can make these really quickly and these are just a couple of th that I had made now this one here I um, added a gift card inside this little pocket and I just punched out two holes to uh, use as a closure with some crochet string and then just winding it around the um, the part where I punched out the circles just to keep the gift card intact and I did some embellishing in the front and then on the inside is the gift card so that just fits in there and it's a nice large opening so it fits perfectly inside just like that um, you could also just uh, add a, a peg a wood peg if you like or you could add a closure like I have with this one here I attached um, some scrap paper to create a closure um, for this one so you could also do that for this size and this one here I did uh, use a border edge die to decorate the edge of the paper and this one is a slightly smaller pocket and I've got in here a cute little embellished uh, Polaroid shape uh, embellishment I also placed a cute little tag that I'd made as well and this is a cute little pocket it is just so cute and then I added a little a word sentiment on a little tag so these are the two sizes that I'd made and then I show you some of the other ones that I'd made and if you're into junk journaling you could uh, use book pages you could use music paper digital prints um, you can also use magazine pages to create your pockets so this is uh, a, a book page that I made and this is two different sizes. I'd use a circle punch to punch out the uh, opening. This is a cute little tiny one. And it's just cute. You can add these to your journal pages. And then you've got yourself a pocket. And then you can add your tags and other pieces inside those pockets. This is made with a musical sheet. I used a vellum piece of scrap that I had laying around and created a closure for the uh, pocket and that's the inside so that was another great way to do that I also use some twine to use as a closure and this is one that I had um, embellished with some of my bits and pieces which I'm going to add into one of my journal pages and I just use a dolly to use as a closure and did some embellishing to the doily as well with some tool. I have some little lace, a little piece of lace that I had laying around. And then just added a digital print to the doily and punched a little tab. And then there's an opening in there. And this is really cute. And these little pieces are from your Creative Studio uh, October uh, subscription box. And I just uh, layered that to the front of the pocket. So I made them with book pages, so if you're into junk journaling, you can also make them for that. And then I also tried making um, a pocket as well using this. It's like tissue paper, but it's slightly thicker, and it's this sort of um, uh, textured paper. It's actually uh, what you use to... I had some uh, bunches of flowers uh, sent to me, and then they wrapped the uh, flowers using the one of these sort of wrapping things that they wrap the flowers from the florist and I thought oh this is going to be perfect because it's nice and thick and I thought I'm going to try and see if I can make a pocket out of it and so I did make a pocket and it was it turned out okay and um, I'm quite happy with this and it's soft and great for flat mail as well and you can also add these to your journal pages you could add some jewelry in here uh, you can also add some dried flowers inside these as well if you want to gift some dried flowers to someone um, it was perfect for that and i just use a zigzag scissors to cut the edge so if i i think that's a great idea if you get um flowers sent to you and they come in wrapped in these this sort of um 
wrapping tip them and then you can make pockets out of these or pages for your junk journals i then made larger sizes for party favor treat bags um, you can add you know lollies or sweets and chocolates in here some little gifts and it's just great to um, use for parties you could add a little tag to the front and then just use a wood peg and you can add the person's name here that you want to give the party favor bag to if you do a craft fairs, these are great to add your items in here um, and then you can uh, use this as your packaging uh, you can use your um, sorry you can use uh, magazine pages or newspaper to make the um, pages as well so you can reuse all your papers to make heaps of packaging so let me show you how quickly you can make these and you can make these in pretty much under five minutes um, i'm going to use scrapbook paper but again use whatever papers you like you can use thick paper thin paper anything um, just as long as your papers are slightly large in size because you need to fold it in half to create the depth of your pocket and also the width also will de determine how wide you want your pocket uh, so I'm just going to grab uh, this one here is like a three by six size which was half of a six by six paper so if you have those you can make little small pockets let me see pretty much maybe you can make something a small pocket like this with three by six papers so you can make two out of one six by six um, so let me just grab one. I'm going to show you how quickly we're going to make one of these. So I'm going to make one with just a plain opening. Uh, well, let's just say, just like this one here with an opening like this. And then I'm going to also show you how you can make one with a closure if you want to have a closure as well. So you've got a different ideas. So I don't know the measurement for this paper. It's just um, a paper that I have. And... If you just gently fold it up in half like that this will give you the guide of how deep your pocket will be so obviously this will be not such a deep pocket so it'll probably be similar to the depth of this one if you want to make a larger pocket for example i've got a larger piece here if you fold this up in half without pressing the bottom this will give you the depth of your pocket so this is a good size as well and then the width will be however wide uh, your pocket's going to be because um, you're going to need to fold in two sides in and that will make it slightly smaller so let's just make one with this size first um, so what we're going to do we're going to fold it in half first so we can get the depth. so that's that part's done and you're going to open it up. I'm just going to fix this side because it's not straight. And we're going to open this up. And we are going to, sorry, let me just fix this side. It's a little bit. I'm just going to cut that out so it's straight. So you want to make sure they're straight. So now you fold that in half. We are going to fold both these sides in. And um, you're just going to fold it in about a quarter of an inch in don't want too much more than that and you're going to press that down if you want to use your scoreboard you can still use your scoreboard if you want it to have a more perfect uh, straight line and if you're not comfortable with free folding it that way you could also use uh, a metal ruler or a ruler of your choice and just lining it up about a quarter of an inch in bring the edge up and just press it along the edge of your ruler and this will give you a fold guide of where you need to fold it so you can just do that as well so now you've got both sides folded we're just going to now fold this back up and just sort of making sure that the edges sort of all line up nicely in line so you can see my one is a little bit out here i'm just going to bring this in a little bit but if you don't want to and you're happy with it a little bit out, it's fine. So now they're both sort of evenly in line. So happy with that. I'm going to open this up, grab my scissors, and I'm just going to angle cut each of these four corners where up to where that fold line is. So now we have um, that done and all we're going to do now 
we are just going to grab your preferred adhesive and we are just going to glue along one side or one half and along this side we're going to bring this up now before you do this if you want a thumb notch punch your thumb notch first if you want just one side for your thumb notch and then we're just going to press that down and making sure that it's all nice and sealed my glue might just take a few seconds to stick on and that pretty much does your pocket really quick and really easy let me just grab this tag so there is your pocket all complete and done and then you can add your goodies in here if you like you can punch your thumb notch if you want a double thumb notch but if you want a single uh, notch um, make your um, punch that out first before you fold it in half and adhere it and that gives you your cute little pocket so now if you want to add a closure you want to grab another piece of your scrap paper um, just slightly smaller um, I might use this one um, this just depending on how deep you want your closure to be uh, so this one is not as deep and as this one you can see this one is longer you just sort of decide how you want your pocket so let's just say um, I'm going to use this firstly what I'm going to do I'm going to just line the oh, I'll go this way so you can see I'm going to just line the edge of my paper with that edge bring the side here and I'm going to just gently fold this up and then that will give me a guide where I need to cut my paper that will then give me the exact width of the pocket or as close to it as I can and I don't need that so we'll see now that that will be the same width and then with the um, so the same length with the width I'm going to fold this in half I think this is about three inches so normally I cut about three inches and then whatever length of the pocket so you want that part this part here to be about three inches and then I'm going to fold this in half and then you'll see what I mean by that so I'm going to place that along the top of the opening of the pocket I want to leave about a quarter of an inch of that fold line above the edge of the pocket and this will become my closure the reason why I want to keep that a bit uh, about a quarter of an inch uh, above that way I can just get my hand inside if I have it like that it's still fine you can still open it but I like to be able to give it a bit more room in case you have something sticking up um, above the pocket so now I'm just going to grab some glue and I'm just going to just place it at the bottom here and then I'm going to, actually I might use this side, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue just to the top, I like the flowers and then I'm just going to now line my pocket to wherever you're happy with it. So I'm just going to place my pocket there. And then that now gives me a closure so it's like a little envelope style and then once that's all sealed you have your pocket all open up once that's all sealed let me just let that sit for one second i'm actually going to use my corner around a punch here actually i might use a different one let me see i have this uh i like this corner around a punch it gives me two different ways to uh, use so if i go in this way it'll give me this nice shape and then um, there is also another way and i'll show you uh, in a second with this punch so that gives me this nice shape and that gives me a nice decorative uh, closure and then i have an opening all ready for me to add something inside and that's the reason why I left my fold a little bit higher so if I have a tag or my packaging is a little bit higher than the pocket it gives me room to close it up so that is how to make this cute little packaging ID with or without a closure 
so let me just i want to show you this uh, punch so this is a great punch it cuts or it punches out these decorative corners like that or if i want i could just line it up halfway and just line the edge and it will give me that style so it can give me that style or that shape ignoring that little punch there but that's what it will give me so I just want to show you this little punch I think it's by craft craft for you yeah crafts for you this is one of my second favorite punches so I just wanted to show you a quick little pocket packaging idea that you can make in under five minutes uh, with this one here it just punches out two holes on both sides and then you just wind your uh, twine or trim um, so yeah so this is just a quick little under five minute project packaging idea for you where you can use making your uh, using your paper scraps or your paper stash and i hope you enjoyed this fun quick simple tutorial and i'll see you soon in my next video bye for now